The USA Convention and Visitors Bureau promotes our region as a travel destination. The Bureau has a guest in town for its annual meeting, too. And joining me from Washington, D.C. is Don Welsh, President and CEO of Destinations International. Don, thank you for being here. Nice to be here, Bob. Thank you for having me. And you know the Midwest pretty well. You've been here, there, and everywhere, sounds like. I do. I've had the privilege of uh, working right up the street in Indianapolis and Chicago. And Fantastic. I've been coming to Cincinnati for 25 years. You know, when we talk about travel destinations, we're going to get to the idea of people coming to Cincinnati, but just it, it's spring break season so I've got to ask you where are people going what's sort of the hot spot for families or people who are just trying to get away in say mid-March through mid-April well it seems like right now when I check airfares to go to Florida yeah. or anywhere in the sun it seems like uh, airfares are going up they're, they're usually they're usually the first indicator of where people are going uh, I think you're going to see uh, the Caribbean do real well I think you're going to see Florida I think you're going to see sun destinations I think for the West Coast Hawaii is is really booming right now from what we understand and uh, I think people are going to continue that travel trend through the the summer. You know, we talked about it just a little bit, coronavirus yep. stuff. Is that, is, is it widespread enough now that people who, you know, obviously aren't going to China or things like that are going, well, wait a minute, maybe maybe I just don't want to go anywhere that's far from home. Well, we're watching it very closely, and yeah. I think the U.S. travel organization is doing a great job working with all the different affiliation, affiliated organizations around the world. But, you know, when, when people start tossing around the word pandemic, yeah. all of a sudden I think it elevates in the eyes of a lot of people saying, what is a pandemic? And I think it, it was confined initially to China and maybe some of the Asian destinations, but now it's moved into Italy. It's moved mm -hmm. into other parts of the world, and I just think hopefully it's going to be uh, quickly recognized, identified, and more importantly, uh, a solution coming up for it quickly. Well, you know, something for people who are living here in Cincinnati, you can kind of consider Cincinnati a destination if you don't want to travel far or go anywhere else because there, there are people from outside of our region who now come here. We were just talking about a little bit the, the restaurant scene booming and these kinds of things. Let's talk about Cincinnati as a destination. I've been coming here now, as I said, for 25 years. Yeah. Every time I come back, I was here two years ago for another presentation, and every time I come back, the restaurant scene, the hotel scene, the music scene, Scene. The, the arts and culture here continue to, to, to elevate at a level that really is, uh, is comparable to any major city in the country right now. So there are those great things to do here, clearly sports. And regardless of who your quarterback is, you'll continue <laughs> to do well. But uh, I will tell you, I, I think this uh, Cincinnati continues to be a place where people say, hey, let's spend the weekend. Let's, yeah. let's go explore. Yeah. And I think that is now getting on a level of consideration maybe it hadn't been before. And something that could be in the offing in the not-too-distant future downtown is going to be very important as well. Let's talk about that. Well, you know, uh, anytime uh, I had the privilege of working in Indianapolis, and I recall that when we decided to build a thousand plus room hotel there, it was really important for the meetings and convention market. Yeah. Because when, it, when a meeting planner is now considering a destination of a sizable meeting, they want to come into a city where they don't have to have 10 or 15 different spread hotels out all over spread the place. out. Yeah, sure. So the, the idea of having a, a, a hotel, a great brand with a thousand rooms, is almost a critical point of entry now for a lot of cities. So I was pleased to see that the city's in that direction. I rode by last night coming in and yep. I saw it's uh, fenced off ready to be imploded. So I do think that will be the next major statement for the community, not just for the meetings industry when yep. that new hotel comes up. Awesome. Don, pleasure to talk Thanks. to you. Thanks, Thanks for coming Take in today. Care. It's Thank 921. You. Let's get a look at that forecast.